Hey there pups, you're Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn Anyone Else But You, which is the lovely Juno song at the exit of the song. And I think it's originally done by the Moldy Peaches, um, but they do a fun little version in this movie. That's probably where you know it from. And this is literally the easiest song in the world, kids. Yes, you've tuned into the easiest song in the world. It's two chords, and um, and that's it, over and out. It's a G and a C. The song's in four, and it's going to go something like this. We'll talk about all the bits and pieces here in a minute, but it's going to go... or anything like that. It's just that all the way through. So, since we got a ton of time on this, let's talk about the rhythm. Let's talk about the chords. Um, first chord is a G. If you don't know how to play a G, it looks a little bit like that. O2, let me stop real quick. Um, if you haven't already, go to yourguitarstage.com and check out the ebook that I've got there. It'll help with all these tunes, how to hold these chords, how to play the rhythms, how to use a capo, how to read charts. You can get a hold of this chart and all my other charts that I put together for my students. And, um, yeah, so here we go. Check it out, yourguitarstage.com. Um, so we got a G chord, and we got a C chord. And it's just going to go back and forth between those two. So, like, one, two, three, four. Strumming rhythm, what I'm doing, and um, it, it's the basic feel of the song is like a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Um, just did a video for um, I Can Tell That We're Gonna Be Friends by the White Stripes, and it's the same exact rhythm, which is a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and it's a swing rhythm, so it's, there's this feel like a Instead of a, instead of a, which is a straight rhythm, it's, okay, that's called a swing, and in this case here we're doing like a, a one, uh, one, two, one, two, If you're not used to doing this sort of rhythm, you may want to mute the hand like this, mute the strings like I'm doing, um, and it will help you to just concentrate on this one thing instead of working with the chords at the same time. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You see me accenting this two and four. to this type of song because it's going to give it a nice feel. It's not going to be all running together like... Um, which is not a bad rhythm, but it makes it sound a little bit nicer when you're doing like a... It's got a little bit nicer sound to it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Guys, that's it. This is a really simple tune. I wish we had more for it, but we don't. So, uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe um, here on YouTube so you can get these videos every day. And if you haven't already, go to yourguitarsage.com and get that ebook, and it'll give you access to all my charts that I'm doing here for these fun tunes. All right, kids, go practice, and we'll see you soon. Get out of here.